I started actually 30 years ago at the Food Research Institute, the big concern with listeria was dairy products, uh, particularly soft cheeses. The dairy industry made marvelous headways in understanding which other food products were higher risk and which ones were lower risk. They were make sure that they kept listeria out of the environment, they did the pasteurization, and as a result, the number of cases of listeriosis dropped that were associated with dairy products. Then the meat industry. Kathy's the great researcher because she's able to talk to people at these companies about the actual implications of pathogens in their products, but also how to maybe eliminate them from her products. And people listen. That's the great thing is people listen to her because she has practical knowledge. Kathy is a pathogen expert, pathogen lady, and anybody in the industry has any questions about pathogens, if they ask me, I don't have a clue, but I can always ask Kathy. on a dairy farm in north central Wisconsin. Um, I was the fifth child out of six. Um, both of my parents came from also very large farm families. You know, we were built around science and nature and had time to understand the importance of the whole life continuum. So that really led me into understanding that I really wanted to be in part of the sciences and biology was what I ended up gravitating to. University of Wisconsin-Madison is a wonderful place. I started out basically as a lab technician, uh, worked my way up through taking over as a lab manager, went through my doctorate and then eventually came up as a principal investigator where I could run my own lab and have everybody working with me. Okay. And because it had an impact on food safety, on public health, that was I think the aha moment. This is what I wanted to do. Kathy's internationally recognized for her work in terms of food safety. She interfaces with numerous companies, helps them deal with their food safety problems. And in particular, her laboratory is the preeminent one to run challenge studies. So if you have a food product or an ingredient, you want to know if listeria, salmonella, or even things like bot botulism can survive and multiply in that product or that ingredient, Kathy's lab has the expertise to address that issue for you. Kathy made a profound impact on the dairy industry with her research program in controlling the microbial growth and inactivation of pathogens. When it comes to food safety issues in the industry, Kathy is a go-to person. It is really important uh, for industry to have a resource like Kathy because she has the reputation and she has credibility um, and she has knowledge. And when you combine all that with knowledge of the industry, it's, it's helpful when you can go to somebody like her and uh, understand um, how to solve a problem, how to validate a process, how to maybe even write specifications. She is really, really good resource for us. Since assuring food safety is the most important thing we can do as an industry, Kathy Glass and people like her are instrumental in us delivering good, safe products to our consumers. I would say she single-handedly has trained hundreds of individuals in the dairy industry so that they are aware of the criteria for making safe food, uh, safe processed cheese. Okay, so that's 575. So somewhere between the 55 five and the 575 five, so is where the cutoff is for that one. I consider her lab to be a finishing school for anybody who wants to go in the food industry with a background of food safety. A lot of students come in to work on projects or to spend a short time in her laboratory and they gain hands-on expertise and perspectives related to food safety that will really give them a boost in terms of employment and careers in the food industry. I am known for working on more than the dairy industry. Uh, we are working with 
refrigerated foods with meat. Um, probably my other claim to fame was working with caramel apples. Um, and people wonder, you know, how those things all fit together. And what we're really looking at is that general information about how those microbes work in a certain kind of a food environment. You know, I think one of the greatest things that Kathy brings that you don't always find in other researchers is, is just that, that practical, real-world application of the work that you're trying to do. You know, whether it's been in the cheese side of the world or the meat side of the world, um, Kathy's brought a wealth of knowledge. She's done an awful lot to progress food safety um, for the industry and, and ensure the consumers are getting what they want and getting it in a safe way. Raising a family and balancing the career is certainly a challenge. Kids definitely knew the basics of what we were doing, and probably one of the more uh, challenging times was when my younger son was sitting at the countertop as I was finishing up some cooking, and he's looking longingly at the dough and saying, Mommy, does this have salmonella in it? And uh, that's when I realized that I probably was warping my children, but on the other hand, I was also keeping them safe. Now they're adults, and they also do call me up on a regular basis and asking me, Mom, does this have salmonella in it? And they said, yes, that is what my mom is, a buzzkill scientist, taking the fun out of food. <laughs> Thank you.